uh, on the cams. And uh, today we've got Blast versus Scuffed, an EU matchup. How you doing, Money Mitch? Uh, what, what's it? What's your, what's your thinking? This is your first VRML cast, so uh, we're really, gonna, we're I'm get really good, into man. It. Yeah, happy to be here. First ever casting on VRML official. Uh, yeah, excited to be here. Let's see how this goes. Beautiful. And you've got me shaking off the rust from a year or so of not casting, so you know that that that's definitely helpful. I think for. Uh, I mean, I, I shouldn't even call you a first-time caster. I mean, you're basically a veteran at this point. Like. Um, You've cast in so many, so many things outside of VRML. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. No. Yeah, far you're sweet. from it. Far from it, man. Super. I've heard, I've heard, I've heard your casting. You're great. Everyone else is going to find that out if you've not uh, seen Money Mitch cast before. Uh, we're going to be cracking straight into this. Again, Blast versus Scuffed. If you're new here, then uh, hit that follow button. And the five second countdown comes down. Lost on orange, scuffed on blue. So he gets this first, and it's it's been a while since I've watched uh, since I watched anything sort of uh, units be getting in the way of stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm super excited to get back into this as we get goes back to a chappy and they just kind of hold it in the middle but no it's gonna be beaver going for the stun for team blast and they're gonna boost to it they're gonna have an open goal is a three shot on a goal yes it is that's a three pointer for beaver in the first 20 seconds or so of the game and look at those stats 18 18 18 18 meters per second speed 18 meters away from that goal 18 seconds to score that blast it to see it. you do love to see it and uh yeah shout out to everybody again in the chat appreciate you all joining I know it's been a while since we've seen uh, an EU cast, uh, from what from what I've seen. So, hope you guys are as excited as I am to get get cracking straight back into it and uh, kind of discover what's going on in the EU ladder because it's a little bit mysterious this season, from what I've seen. Uh, you know, a couple of teams dropping out. It's making it very interesting. We've got Scuffed at the top of the ladder right now, and we've got Blast coming in second. So this is the top of the top in Europe at the moment. As Baguette goes back to Ocular here for for Scuff, they're going to go up to Ochapi. And uh, passing it into the bubble, Joshi T going in for the bottom pocket shot. Boop just missing it. In fact, Boop was stunned out there. So, uh, yeah, great offensive work from Scuffed. Yeah, Scuffed, uh, I believe they've been sat at the top of the ladder for a little while now during Season 6. And I've, I have been doing a few casts unofficially. And that's a team I haven't actually casted yet. So, yeah, it's good to be seeing them actually play. And as we watch here, we have Blast coming out of the tunnel and Obsession Joust doing a more percentage of... Uh, Ugh. That word. Yeah, yes. that word. That word. Protective yes. uh, <laughs> gel. <laughs> they're moving forward now, keeping that possession. They're making their way through mid, but they're hanging back there with no real sense of urgency. Saying that, they send it very deep there. They have JB. Oh. Look at some kind of bounce shot there. And now it's retrieved back by Boop on the back line. Yeah, Boop bringing it ahead. Just going to get... Oh, just a little bit. Beaver's able to get it. But Ochappy putting plenty of pressure on here for Team Blast. They're going to have to pass around for a little bit, find some open space as Boop tries to walk it through. Trying to bait some defenders. Oh, but no, he's just going to go straight for the shot. Knock you, Alan. That one's going to make it work uh, right in the co corner pocket there. The Swift, is this your first time hearing the fanfares now? The new music when people score? It is. It is, yeah. What yeah, that's a thing. That's the thing. I've, I've suggested this for how many years? I've suggested goal explosions. That's not been an idea. But um, basically, just copy everything Rocket League's doing because yeah, they're done right. <laughs> uh, so, you know, we're halfway there. <laughs> not quite got goal explosions, but we've got a different goal music now. I'm not going to lie. I thought my Spotify started playing something randomly. Um, <laughs> I had no idea what was going on there. But yeah, thank you for clarifying. <laughs> yeah, the one you heard there, that is the fan favorite. Yeah, the fan it's favorite. pretty good. That's Spanish. Spanish That's guitar. It's pretty good. I'm sure Joshi loves that one. Um, yeah, and uh, Beaver crossing it through. Oh my goodness, what a save there from, uh, I believe that was Ocula Allen. Oh, an even better shot coming through. And that's going to be Beaver scoring it with a headbutt. I'm not sure who took the shot there. Um, but yeah, Beaver taking it with a headbutt. Yeah, that confused me. I actually thought Beaver took that. I thought he shot it from the shoulder. So that's really confused me there. Yeah, not sure. I think he was on the back of someone. Uh, hit Beaver's head. Who knows? Anyway, Ocula then. Looking to uh, walk it down mid. Playing a little bit defensive. Uh, I mean, they've still got this offense going through. I'm surprised. I mean, uh, you know, strats have changed a little bit since I last played. You know, it's been a, it's been a couple of years. <laughs> um, surprised to see the goal uh, left open so much. But then I remember, uh, uh, oh yeah, people can like stack. And like, you know, that's a thing. So I think there's an open goal. And o Ocula is just missing there. So speaking of stacks, this one might just come through for Blast. This one, oh, the shot. Maybe on target, it isn't. But Boop's going to be able to take that 
through. That was very, very close three-pointer, but yeah, Boop taking it in for the two either way. It's definitely going in the way of Blast at the minute. It is. So looking at this game so far, you would think that it'd be Blast that was at the top of the ladder. They're not, but by the end of this game, they could well be. As yeah. They're leading seven points now. And we have Scuff coming out for a possession just here. Oki Adam sending it to left tunnel. We have Joshi T who sends it deep to Trench where we have Ochappi. Okay. Who scores those? He puts those in. So interestingly enough, that's exactly what I was saying before about the goal being open. But I guess the stat wasn't ready that time. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a dangerous play still. You know, you never you never know. If you leave your goal open, you miss up your stack. Uh, that's just a free three points to the uh, the other team at this point. I mean, everyone can make a three pointer in the the top tier of Echo Arena. So you don't really want to be leaving that goal too uh, open too often as Baguette takes this, goes for the cloud shot, I believe. Uh, just missing that one though, and uh, Boop not quite able to get a grasp on it. So Baguette might be able to make the shot. Not even gonna have to bounce it. He's just gonna put it straight in, and uh, as quick as that. It's going to be 9-8, uh, and Scoffed have almost brought it back. Yeah, that's impressive to see. It's just as I was saying that as well about the seven-point lead, they turned that around <laughs> so quickly. Where has that gone? Here <laughs> so we have Blast us. coming up now. Boop holding this, taking his time. He's unchallenged. He sends that deep, and there's someone to receive Blast. that. Oh, He's my goodness, Dark. Very quickly. He gets one stunned out there. And that, that could have been dangerous if they both punched, but you know, they didn't, They know better than that. They're not going to both go for the strike. And uh, the Cloud Trap comes through. Is it going to be on target? Yes, it is. A beautiful shot from Baguette. And I think that was over the shoulder. So if that was, that is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that was great to see. Um, you, you have a point here. They are leaving that goal open. And with teams like this, they should know themselves. They hit those frees. Yeah. They can't if... be leaving the goal open like that. If there's an angle, even like a cloud shot angle on the goal, these players are I... probably going to hit it. I'm going to sound like a boomer, despite being 18 years of age, as... Uh, oh, oh Chappie puts it in for three before I can even finish my sentence. What has <laughs> happened to the seven-point lead of Blast? It's gone the other way now and is now a five-point lead uh, uh, from Scuffed. So, yeah, I don't know where that's gone. But, yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm going to sound like a boomer, but it's insane how people just make cloud shots now. And it's just like a thing that, you know is a possibility of happening. Um, I remember when I stopped playing, people just started kind of like, oh, look at this shot, it's kind of cool, right? And then people just making it. Speaking of, the boop shot coming through, that's an old one. And uh, yeah, that one's gonna be made, not quite by boop, but it's gonna be made by dark. Either way, that is a beautiful anthem. I, I that has gotta be the goal of every player, right? To have a shot named after you. But yeah, probably. It's such a universal shot that everyone knows and everyone uses, like the boop shot. Yeah. Some people tried renaming it, but we're not going to let them. It's not allowed. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Baguette coming through 2 0 Chappy, and that three point shot is open. I'm not sure if the. Oh, no. JBL was hiding under the goal. I didn't even see that, and I'm in spectator. Sheesh, I would have took that shot, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's definitely a technique. I was watching Gravity play the other day and Scubs did the same thing. He actually went up into number one tube oh. and hit and that's a goal going in by Joshi T, assist by Baguette. He puts that in 70 meters per second speed. Yeah, Very I have nice. to agree. EU Master is NA bronze. Absolutely. Absolutely true. Yeah. No idea, uh... I mean, this is this is this is about as close as a match as you can get. I mean, uh, jokes aside, this is a beautiful matchup being played here. And Blast, I think, needs to just play a little bit more defensively. They got a little bit too cocky, I think, pushing a little bit too far forward with those stacks. weren't able to get back in time. I absolutely support this super aggressive play, by the way, with the two stacks. I absolutely love it as it comes through. But Arkelon not having to do much there as the post does all the work. Um, sure, he would have saved it either way though, because he did have his uh, arm in the way, but. Oh, Chappy, just kind of uh, playing it safe here. A minute and a half left, so they do have to be very careful of that stack. It's super fast here at Blast, which is why they play that double stack play. And uh, yeah, just that back stack comes back so quickly. And uh, ooh, but watch out, because here comes Blast, and they have it. Uh, the three-point shot coming through, just going to ding very close wow. there. But Beaver's going to pick it up. Not going to have any time, because Baguette's already on him. That would have been... Insane three-point shot to, to hit there as JBL, uh, but no Joshy T, no Baguette takes the disc for uh, for Scuffed here. There's no shot. 
as that uh, glides onto the nest there as Joshi looks to walk it into the bubble, passing here to Ochappy before that blast stack is able to get back. They do manage to get it uh, around the inside. So, yeah, I don't know. Blast stack, uh, blast defensive stack has seemed a little bit slow in the second half of this round. I'm not going to lie. It also seemed like they let Scuff get away with a lot there. They were doing a lot of passes where they weren't, they didn't have anyone right in their face, if you know what I mean. They could do those long passes. So maybe mm. Blash just need to tidy up a little bit there. Yeah, just definitely. Get way more in their face and stop them discogging, basically. 30 seconds left, and they're not going to be able to do much here uh, unless they get five points miraculously in this uh, amount of time. That's six points. Uh, good good, uh, good maths from me as <laughs> Joshi comes through uh, with the clear. And Ochappi's maybe able to put another three in. No, wow. it's going to be through. I think it's going to be two points. Yep, another two points. Um, yeah, for Scuff, so you know what? That round changed halves a couple of times, and now you can see why Scuff is at the top of the board. I'm so proud of our Joshi T, you know, back in my day. <laughs> it was on Nan with the, myself. Okay, nice. Radio. So there's some history for you um, that you didn't need to know, but there you go. Um, yeah. Loved, uh, loved Joshi. He's actually been in the game for for a very long time, longer than most people know. I think he's been in since since the game's launch, but he's been kind of in and out. And he started playing uh, kind of properly again um, about last year or a year and a half ago. I don't know. Time's gone out the window since lockdown, man. <laughs> so uh, you, you, this is a bit of like a coming out of retirement for you, right, Swift? How long have you been away for? Uh, coming out of retirement and then um, probably going back in, I imagine, as um, uni work... Uh, continues to pile uh, yeah I'll, I'll get so i'll get some casting uh, as i can but um okay. yeah when were you last like playing not just casting oh dear um that would have been 2020 2020 was yeah. it 2020 i think so again time's gone out the window i have no idea what's going on with time anymore <laughs> so like season two that kind of era season three was the last season i played yeah Okay, and that was the team you just mentioned with uh, Joshi T? So, season three was, uh, yeah, it was not at the beginning, and then, uh, I'm not going to lie, I kind of snaked them out for uh, a little bit for uh, uh, for, a, for a different team. I played with uh, Froggy, who went over. Naughty Swift. Yeah, and I got finalists there, so, you know, it worked out. <laughs> it worked out. There we go. Poaching lessons with Swift as we come through. Uh to uh oh straight into the bubble oh it's actually oh, that would be, have been uh, quick this is beaver now picking this up inverted on the floor moving it across the boop boop holding this no one challenging him he floats back to nugget moves forward now and passes it back we have beaver down in trench still inverted looking for a pass option but he doesn't need it because he's diving right oh. forward and he attempted that that 1v2 he didn't quite go through but we now have a loose disc which is picked up by a blast stack now boop holding this again it's like deja vu down here yeah, he is. If he makes a pass this time, they see another pass come through. We have Beaver holding this underneath. Oh, this defense is insane from Scoff. I don't even know how they're going to play around this. With the, They just seem to have a massive hold on the bubble. They're so good inside the bubble. But just as I say that, they let it through. Ocul Allen. Oh, my goodness. The goalie of all goalies comes through. And, uh, I mean, the reason I say that is because... I don't know if you remember, but... Um, we had that massive kind of EU uh, goalie resurgence um, in in season three, season four or so, where every goalie just seemed to uh, two point shot by the way coming through for blast. So it happened eventually, but um, yeah, uh, is is it as it happened? We had just like loads of god tier goalies just just come out at once and like everyone just started saving everything. So it was kind of incre it was kind of incredible. Um, but Oculan was one of the first um, of those people that I noticed was just so difficult to get past in the bubble especially like trying to get two point shots around that guy it just isn't easy um so i imagine we'll see blast go for a fair few stun plays and stat plays um trying to get it through as we see i have seen them do um for the rest of this game as a three-point shot comes through but yeah if they uh, are able to get that three-point shot you know there's no way akilan's gonna be able to save that or maybe the strategy for blast is to keep the disc back away from the bubble and try and pull that goldie out so they can hit those threes that they just yeah, hit definitely. there yeah, I'd, uh, if I was Blast right now, that would definitely be one of my goals. Um, yeah, super hard guy to get past in the bubble, but uh, they come through and they try and answer with essentially the same thing, but on the bottom half um, of the arena. 
as it gets sent back to the midline to Ocular, and then passes to Oh Chappy. Oh, oh, I was going to say a pass. I thought it was a pass to Joshi Tietze. Shot straight down the middle, and Baguette's going to be able to find its way. Uh, the disc's going to be able to, to find its way from Baguette's hands into the goal, um, just from above the shield. Yeah, that was some very quick passing there as well. That was some very fast passing. I thought that full pass was going to connect as well, but didn't need it. Straight in that goal. <laughs> Maybe it was supposed to be a pass. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I mean, I, those sort of things happen all the time when you uh, kind of just prepare someone to catch it in, in case it doesn't go in. It's pass slash shot, you know, it works if it works. If it doesn't, oh, Dart goes for a little spin there, but not quite working again. Oculan with another save. And uh, pass straight to Boo, but gonna hit the uh, the ring. So uh, you see, it just makes it so hard to strike when you've got a goalie this good. Um, you've you've got to try and hit it in the bo bottom pocket, and bottom pocket. Uh, Beaver puts it in as uh, that's seven three now to Blast. So hmm, not sure. Uh, Blast stacks seem to be doing a little bit better uh, in this half of the round, but we saw kind of the similar thing happen last round, and Scuff managed to br uh, bring it back with just three minutes remaining or so. So. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, that's exactly what we saw. That's why I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to say anything. Yeah. Because last <laughs> time I said there was a seven point difference, Scuff just turned it around so quickly. It's as if they were listening to us. They were yeah. waiting for us to say it and then just turned it around with ease. Yeah, VRML or not VRML, the Caster's Curse remains the same throughout. And uh, oh, Joshi T going to get stunned there. Oh, Chappie just missing the disc, but he's able to get a stun there onto JBL. Tries to get the two-point shot. That one misses, but it ends up in Joshi T's hands, and it's able to be saved by Boop. And now JBL trying to pass it around the outside to Beaver. Oh, Beaver tries to put it through uh, kind of a tight um, uh, little space, and Boop able to get that one just from uh, outside the bubble, and he's able to squeeze that one in for three. 10-3 now for Blast. I think they got a, uh, a stun onto the Scuff stack, so that's not going to help them. Yeah, they find themselves seven points up. Can they maintain this lead this time and take us to a round three? We're about to find out as Scuffs come out for their joust advantage. We have Occu adding QB and moving it up to Riot Tunnel, where we have Baguette. Baguette passing it across the table. We have Joshi T. Joshi T passing it back to Baguette. One, two, one, two. Unchallenged, he moves forward along the floor, looking at Joshi T, who then picks it up, but even with oh. a stack coming on him, he can put that in, assist by Baguette. Two more points for Scuffed. Yeah, beautiful play, uh, beautiful play there from Joshi, and obviously a great shot. So we'll see what Blast kind of uh, returns this with, because last time, the last couple of goals we've seen immediately returned uh, by Scuffed, so we'll see. And we'll see what happens with Blast here as they uh, they play this uh, rather defensive. Uh, this is kind of exactly the position you use if you're trying to break up uh, the offensive stack uh, of Joshi T and O Chappy there in the center. So uh, yeah, it gets stunned across, but uh, it does break the stack for just a mere few moments, buying Dark a little bit of time, but not a lot because Scuffed stack was still pretty close together and there uh, they do manage to get the disc eventually as it goes straight down the center. Oh, again, almost landing that one for three points and as long as they keep their shots kind of close eventually one of those is going to land and it's just making blast uh they're, they're coming back sooner than they would have to otherwise if, if uh, they weren't so accurate on those shots and that's it's such a powerful shot to be able to to pull out as jbl saves that one but get able to intercept wow. oh no you don't want to see that happen the clear coming through uh, but bouncing off the shield yeah unfortunate mistake there um from blast but it gets punished well uh, by scott yeah, we've, those um, those mouse slot shots that we've been seeing attempted quite a few times now. It seems like it's only at this top, top level that you really see that like attempted so many times. I know a few of them haven't quite gone through, but the fact that these guys have the confidence to hit that like, from the other side, like a full court shot, it's really interesting to see. And here yeah. we have Blast moving forward. They are beaten to it, though, as Ochappi grabs that for Scuffed. Sends it through, picked up by Baguette. Baguette taking the shot, but it's read by JB, who makes it back in time. He clears it forward, and no one's picking this up for a good few seconds. As Dark gets a slap on it. Hold on, gone. Oh, 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 that was so, that was practically a slap shot. Um, that was a beautiful shot. Uh, if that would have landed, that would have been insane. As Beaver takes this one through, uh, back to Boop, trying to cross it through. Dark just getting unstunned. I think that was a stun attempt um, from Scuffed, but... Yeah, yeah, he was already stunned previously, so he had a little bit of invincibility time, and uh, he took that well. I can't get over that. That's amazing. Well, the, the music, right? You can't go over the music. Yeah, absolutely yeah. beautiful. 
beautiful. We have Scuffed coming out here with a possession joust. Passing over the Joshi T on the left. Pass deep to Trench. And reset back, but not picked up. That is loose and that is picked up by Blast. We have Beaver taking a reverse. What do you call that? Whoa. That, down <laughs> that, that one in. I think Oculon looked at that as, a, as if like, oh yeah, good try. And then it almost <laughs> bounced straight into the goal <laughs> as uh, Boop takes a, that one in eventually. So yeah, I need to take a close look at what's going on with uh, Scuffed's forward stack. I think it's getting stunned out by, uh, by Blast, but uh, yeah, something's going on and it's not allowing them to get back. But I imagine they're getting stunned, so. Yeah, good job from Blast, if that is the case, but I have yet to confirm. Here's Oku adding his QB, moving this forward for a right relay, but it's red by the back stack of Blast. And now we're stuck in the middle zone as Joshi T picks this up and sends it. Is that a shot? Probably. Eh, it, it, it works. It works as both. Um, yeah, again, one of those things where, you know, if it lands, then it lands. If not, you know, you still got it right in front of the goal anyway. So it doesn't really matter if it lands or not. As Ochappy brings this one through, uh, trying to get that bounce. But JBL reads it beautifully there. Just positioned really well. Joshy T coming back, um, but he does get stunned away. Not really got any passes uh, from that position. So Beaver's going to be able to take this one through. He's got a little bit of time, but Baget uh, closes that distance down. Boop, uh, not quite <laughs> going to be able to get that, but he gets a fortunate bounce. Going to bring it back. Beaver's going to be able to get that dunk. And uh, yeah, just bounce working in favour of Blast there. Kind of unfortunate. Oh, that was a lovely dunk. And I think that's the first dunk we've seen in this game as well. It's a very high scoring game we're watching here. And that's the first time it's been dunked, I believe. I don't know, my short term memory is awful. Yeah, uh, definitely one of the one of the few. As Oculan comes through, tries to get this very, very aggressive pass. Almost works out, but not quite. Baguette's going to be able to take this one back. JBL with the clear though. And Scarf picked this up on the back line. We have Ochappy throwing this up to Baguette. Baguette passing it down to Oku Allen. Oku Allen moving along the floor. He's worrying about this backstab that never comes to him. He now has Baguette on Nest moving around. And, oh. well, okay, he's feeling confident. He's, he's had a good breakfast. Well, yeah, they can't win the round at this point. So, I mean, I guess they might as well. Um, yeah, this is going to go to three rounds. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, yeah. Can't say I wasn't expecting it, I can't lie. The, from the first round, it's been clear that both of these guys are in it to win it as Dark comes through with... That was a pass to boot, I'm 100% sure. Oh, kill Allen though! Oh my <laughs> days. He's a very good goalie, as you pointed out earlier. And it's yeah. great to see, it's a real masterclass in how to defend that goal. I'd say, I'd say Oculo Allen right now is, is absolutely still one of the best goalies in the world. I'll say that hands down. Yeah. Who's the goalie still say mainly that. in this game for, uh, for Blast? Is it Boop? Uh, I'm not sure actually, because it's kind of been uh, kind of been back and forth from Blast. They play kind of two-man stack, so it's I, mm. I'm guessing it does alternate between the. Uh, there's obviously there's always going to be preferred goalie, but I think it alternates quite a lot with Blast because they have the the two stacks and their back stack sometimes uh, gets back a little late. So I guess it just depends. Um, I'll have a look though. Someone will know. Yeah, that's the best way to play, in my opinion. I think everyone should be comfortable. Like, There's a lot of lower teams where they're like, okay, strictly, you're the goalie, you're the mid player. But yeah, in reality, I... you all need to be able to rotate. Whoever's back first is in goal. Yeah, you, you don't necessarily have to play like the super aggressive, uh, super aggressively like uh, like Blast is doing with the, the two stacks. That's a very, very aggressive kind of um, play style and it, it can fire back but if you're really good at it it can just be insanely hard to deal with uh, we saw gravity run it for years before people actually figured out um how to counter it and even then you know people it's still difficult it's not like you know, it's not like you it's just a knowledge thing right it's not like you just do one thing and then you can counter it you have to just be good mechanically and you have to be able to stack as fast as the other team and catch up and stun and all this so it's a very difficult thing to um to do but it's also difficult to deal with and that clearly paid off a blast that uh, that round as it comes back for boot and they're taking their time here blast are playing a very slow game especially when we see it with boot down there in his own half if he's not challenged he will just hold it and i noticed yeah. something as, as well about boot is that he seems to float and that's if you're teaching newbies you say never float always anchor always anchor but he seems to have a play style where you can get away with it. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's, it's trying to like bait something with... Oh, wow, okay. 
I mean, yeah, let's face it, he has a team of very, very good players. Um, they're going to be able to hit a, a, a accurate pass on him, whether he's floating or whether he's mm. whether he's on a block. Um, it just comes at a higher kind of risk. If they miss the pass, then it's going flying across the arena, probably towards your own goal. Um, but, you know, uh, Blast is pretty unlikely to miss the passes at this point. I mean, um, you know, it happens once or twice, but, you know... Uh, it's worth being uh, unpredictable. As we just saw from Dark there, it comes out of the pillar because he expects the defender to, to try and take the pillar in the, uh, he, he, the... Basically, what you're trying to do as the defense, you're just trying to own your uh, your bubble. So, uh, you know, by taking the pillar, you kind of do that. But if you're kind of floating on the outside, you can take that little opportunity to, to get a little bit of time away from the defender and you can probably bait, um, bait them to just go to the pillar and you can just receive a pass on the outside of it. So that's kind of what we're seeing. Um, happen there and yeah as you mentioned that's exactly what Boop's doing and uh, yeah it's absolutely working for them as it comes through Oculan fakes that shot and then takes the second one straight into the bubble and uh, yeah 18 meter second shot right into the, uh, just out of the pocket so beautiful shot yeah and one minute and 38 seconds for that goal to be scored I think that's the longest gap we've had in this game yeah. so far in this very high scoring game Certainly the longest from the start of the game, yeah, absolutely. But, you, you know, this isn't really uncommon. We've seen this uh, pattern happen time and time again. And, um, ooh, that's going to be unfortunate. Yeah, that one's going to be straight in for the three. And, uh, yeah, that goal did not take too long at all. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this plays out now. Um, Blast have got to be a little bit more careful. I'm not really sure what happened there. Just an unfortunate pass didn't receive. Um, yeah. And the problem, that's the problem with that... Uh, you know, as I said before, these players are very good at passing, but if you're sat on Popcorn, which is the block um, outside of just outside of Tunnel, above it, um, if you don't know. And, oh, Oculan. Wow, that's incredible. He actually managed to to uh, to maintain possession for his team. Obviously, they lost it soon after, but they, he managed to maintain team possession as it does get uh, taken into the bubble eventually. But that was a very, very good play from Oculan. Uh, just a little small throw, uh, kind of into no man's land, brought them... Uh, Brought them too far out so his team could get to it first. Almost worked out really, really well for them. But, you know, got to give credit where credit's due. And that credit is Blast taking their opportunities. As I Staying comes. that scuffed uh, three points up. Passing yeah. over to Joshi on the left side now. Passing it back to Baget. Baget resetting it back to Oku Allen. Oku Allen holds it. He waits for the stat to commit to him. And then he makes the pass down to Baget. Baget moving into that bubble now. Being a threat and putting it into the bubble. That is 12 meters per second speed. Two more points for Scuff, putting them five points up. I already had to second second guess my maths there. Oh yeah, blast uh, blast one round two. By the way, it's not coming up on the uh, the thing, but yeah, thank you for thank you for pointing that out. But yeah, of course, in the third round, so the other team must have won. Uh, yeah, but uh, Boop taking that one through to JBL aggressive play style you can only usually do this once or twice a game so um yeah they kind of went uh, from that very conservative play style and that didn't work so they kind of they're pushing it forward for a round those they're seeing uh, kind of what the reaction from scuff will be and the reaction is to get it straight oh. to the bubble and take a i'm gonna call that an unsavable shot from dark but <laughs> oculalan is in the goal so i don't really know yeah watching that i was fully expecting oculalan to save that but yeah, it was just he was, perfectly placed. He's got in that massive pocket. arms as well. We, we've seen it. Not like uh, not like burly arms. He's got really long arms. Uh, okay. Saw him at LAN, and he's got his his wingspan, right? Yeah, it's it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. He's a. It, yeah. He's that's not, definitely. Not I was particularly, say, that's definitely a benefit, like in this game, yeah. to have like a wide wingspan. You can get away with a lot more. But then saying that, there's some players where they're 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 generally younger, and they've got tiny tiny little arms, but they're they're just so much faster as well with the disc and yeah. they can juke around you. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't wow. believe that they expected that. <laughs> I mean, Beaver coming through. I think he was baiting that shot, actually. I think he was hanging out uh, on the pillar. So I think they did expect that, actually. But the hair comes through. That is a absolutely textbook counter-attack from, from Blast. You can't get a more textbook counter-attack than that. Bait the shot for the three-pointer, get them stunned out in the back, and get that incredibly fast stack. And they get a free three points, essentially, from that. Textbook counter play, beautiful play from Blast. Yeah, but now we have Scuffed coming out here. With the disc passing three, four times already. Oh, Chappy holding this back down, staying in mid, not progressing too quickly. But now they have it with Baguette. We pass it over to Oh, Chappy, oh, who finds the goal open. 
Um, do you think this is like this is the risk? So you talk about Blast being very aggressive with his double stack plays, but yeah, the risk is if they can't keep up, they haven't got a man back to cover that goal. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Very very risky play style. I mean, it's been working up to this point. Um, and I mean, yeah, they're not going to change it. It's Blast have been playing this way for a while, um, mm. and it works for them. So mm. you know, uh, they're second in the the lead, and they're trying to take the. the f I'm actually going to have a look at the the points to see just how many they need. Oh, that one goes through for the ding, as uh, Dark puts that one through. Maybe Scuffed are going to be a little bit more defensive after seeing that shot come through uh, after it being so close to the goal. Uh, I'm not sure. The first shot might have actually been on target. I'm not too sure. Um, Hard to tell from the angle, but yeah. Boop, uh, boop coming through, trying to get this cross. Takes a very unfortunate bounce on the shield, unfortunately. And uh, that one's going to be cleared away. And uh, it's just a stack race once again. Clear and boost. I can hear the ESL crowd shouting loudly as Joshy T puts that one in for two and uh, beats them to the stack race. Yeah, it looks like it's got to taking a bit of a lead here. There's three minutes left on the clock. And they are five points ahead. Can Blast bring this back? What do you think, Swift? Yes. Um, <laughs> to put it bluntly, yes. Um, yeah, they're playing really fast and uh, yeah, anything's possible, honestly, at this point with these teams. Um, yeah. And I think, actually, we've got a really nice kind of comparison on our hands here uh, of two teams that do play quite differently as Dark does take that one in for the two points. And um, yeah. Just beautiful play from uh, from Blast once again, but again, you know it's not really one-sided. It's uh, it's it's just a back and forth between these teams. So it's kind of um, yeah. But as I was saying before, it's kind of a nice thing to see the comparison between these teams. Scuffed are a fairly rigid team in terms of their positioning. They kind of run similar similar jousts, um, and you know Oculus Island's always at the back, and you have this very rigid kind of kind of play, this rigid move up the field, this rigid kind of triangle that moves up the field between Joshi, uh, Baguette, and Ochappi. Uh, as you can see, it just moves up the field and it's really, really powerful. It's really hard to defend against. And uh, eventually when Oculon is able to get back, they're able to, they form this um, diamond shape at the, uh, in the in the bubble and it's kind of hard to, uh, to deal with. But uh, yeah, on the other hand, you have Blast and uh, you know, they can, they can do those sort of moves as well, but uh, they